guys welcome back to my channel and to another episode of trash talk everyone's favorite video if you have not joined me before my name is kath i post videos here on youtube every sunday and this my trash talk is basically my beauty empties all the products that i have used from top to bottom did i love them would i recommend them are they worth the money all of that kind of talk so without further ado guys let's get into the video and let's talk some trash as usual with this video i don't do it in sections i just go in the bag and pull stuff out and talk about them let's just do that shall we these are my cleansing wipes these are the simple cleansing wipes now i know these are a controversial item i'm really sorry i love cleansing wipes and hear me out before you come for me so I use these morning and evening and I use them in the evening to remove the bulk of my makeup before I go in with a double cleanse. And then in the morning, I use them after I've washed my face in the shower as kind of like just to make sure I've got rid of everything before I use my toner. So I don't use them solely for removing makeup. I just feel like because I use the Elemis cleansing balm, I just don't see the point in using a cleansing balm on a face full of makeup. Like, yes, it melts it away. Yes, it gets rid of it. But why? Like, just take it off and then just use the balm. I, I don't get it. But anyway, each to their own. But that's what I do. So fine. Um, then next up we have... Oh, so I, said, I just said I was going to pull stuff out, but I can't really because I've got Elemis section at the end. So let's just do that. Uh, this is the uh, Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Bath and Shower Gel. Now, for Christmas, my mum, she's very clever, she bought me a box of like 10 of this size, and they are the 50ml sham, um, shower gels. And she bought me a box of like, I think 10 of them, because she knows that for our holidays this year, we are just taking lots of little mini breaks. These are amazing. And... Um, I just didn't want to save them all because it's a Christmas present. I want to use them. And we're not got that many breaks. So I thought I'm just going to open up my favourites. I love the orange and bergamot one. It's so like, it is very orangey and very citrusy, but it has that kind of spice to it. And if you've watched me long enough, you know I love a spicy, masculine kind of fragrance. This is very unisex. A guy could easily use this. I really love it. Then we have, uh, what can I do now? Oh, this. Now, this was the Hair Apology by Lee Stafford. And it's an intensive care 10 in 1 leave in spray treatment to nourish, rehabilitate critically processed, damaged hair from the very first use. I've had this for ages. As you know, my hair is natural, it's not heavily processed. I don't even know why I bought this. <laughs> I think they were on three for two and I didn't I couldn't get the third bottle of my um, hair activation growth treatment that I use of his sometimes and I think this was just the one that was there so I just got it because it was three for two and I didn't like it for me personally like I say I, I'm the wrong target audience for this I don't need this hair product and you only use it in your mid lengths and ends I found it to be really thick you can probably see here um you can move you in um, it's got bubbles and stuff in it because I didn't actually finish it. I cheated and threw the rest of it down the sink because it's just not very good. It's really quite thick and you really have to shake it to spritz it into your hair. The whole thing was just a bit of a faff. I didn't like it. I'm not the biggest fan of Lee Stafford stuff. I love the activation hair growth treatment. I love that. And his Coco Loco leave-in condition, not leave-in condition, it's like a, a hair mask, is really good. But I'm not a huge fan. This one was a no from me. I wouldn't uh, waste my money on that. Next up, we have, I'm trying to see if we've got any more hair stuff. No, I've got another shower gel, though. This is the Molson Brown Heavenly Ginger Lily one. And I kind of like this. Um, it's one of those ones that's just very inoffensive. It's nice. I wouldn't buy it. But it's just, every time I use it, I'm like, hmm, it's nice. Not much I can say, really. Heavenly gingerly. I don't know. It's not very gingery. I don't really know what it smells like. It's quite florally. It's quite nice. Then we went to Amsterdam last week, uh, week before, week before. Um, I took with me the Neon Amber. And I, I haven't got that to show you because I threw it away at the hotel. But I'll put a picture of it here. That is gorgeous. Absolutely love that. My other half uses that as well, so we shared. 
Uh, this, oh, I love this. This is from my Kiehl's advent calendar. I got their advent calendar last year to save stuff for my trips away because they're all little mini sizes. <laughs> Clever dick, you see? But this one, I couldn't I couldn't save it because I loved it. And for the winter time, it's amazing. This is the Ultimate Strength Hand Salve by Kiehl's. I have used this for years. I had the really big one before and I always forget how awesome this is. If you have dry hands in the winter or any time of year, this is the one for you. It's so, so rich and so, so good, but it doesn't leave your hands really sticky or full of residue or anything. It's brilliant. I highly recommend it. And as you can tell, it's finished up. I opened it as soon as I got it in my Christmas box and I've been using it on my nightstand. I've been using it overnight when my hands have been particularly dry when the weather was like super, super cold. Although it is kind of super cold again now. But when it was like proper winter and we had like minus seven here, which is unheard of in the UK, that came in super handy. Then let's stick to Kiehl's. I used up the Powerful Strength Line Reducing and Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Cream with Tripeptide and Hyaluronic Acid. How cute is it? So cute. Um, I really liked it and I didn't like it before. I have tried it before and I didn't love it. This time it's different. I don't know if that's because I've got a little bit older and I needed it a bit more and it just kind of, I felt like I could see it working. Um, I would definitely get it. I, I do love Kiehl's. You know I me, mean? I'm an Elemis girl at heart, but this was pretty good. If there wasn't any Elemis deals on with an eye cream and I needed an eye cream, I would get that for show. Let's keep on with Kiehl's, shall we? I have got here the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I love this mask. I've had two or three of the big size of this. It's a really good clay mask. There's a tiny wee bit left in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's gonna focus for me or not, I'm not sure. Um, it's a really good clay mask. You leave it on for, it doesn't really say how long you need to leave it on for, until it dries, approximately 10 minutes. So I used this probably four or five times out of this little pot and I love it. it and I save it for when I have breakouts and things and it just kind of dries everything out and it's just really, it's just, yeah, it says a uh, deep pore cleansing mask with Amazonian white clay intensively purifies to minimize pores. We all need that from time to time. I actually used it last night. I used it up, so yeah, love it. I might actually get a full size one because there aren't any clay masks that I really like that get on. I, I know that Elemis do one, but I didn't really like it. I think it's that herbal lavender. I didn't get, I didn't rate it. And I love Elemis, but I didn't like it very much. Uh, what have we got here? I've got a few hair bits. So this was the Aveda Cherry Almond Softening Conditioner. We've had the conversation many times about conditioner. For me, I love Philip Kingsley. I use their shampoo and conditioner religiously. But I go through conditioner twice to three times as fast as I do shampoo. So the Philip Kingsley bodybuilding shampoo, I could have one bottle on the go for like a year and go through six bottles of conditioner. So I used up the conditioner that I had with it and then I just buy others that I fancy. And I'm, my old hairdressers used to use this, the Cherry Almond Softening Conditioner by Aveda. And I really like it. It smells like, do you remember Tunes? Back in the day, there was that cough sweets. Oh, just sprayed it all in my face. Oh God, this smells so good. And I did mainly get it for the smell. Why not? But it is really good. And it's a good conditioner, it really, really nice. I liked it and I would get it again when my other ones run out. I got it from Look Fantastic, super cheap deal. Really enjoyed it, would highly recommend. What else, what else, what else? So, uh, the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Now this is, if if you care about your nails and your cuticles in any way, get this, try this, it's amazing. You basically put it around your cuticle, it's a gel, you put it around your cuticles and you leave it for 30 seconds, push them back and it just takes away all the gunky stuff that's under your nails. Absolutely amazing. I do trim my cuticles. Um, I wouldn't recommend that if you don't know what you're doing, but this would work regardless. I have used this for... I'm gonna go in and say 15 or 16 years. Not this one, obviously. I go through this size bottle, probably lasts me about six to eight months, 
I reckon I do my nails once a week using this. I paint them twice a week, but I use I do a full manicure once a week. This lasts about six to eight months. So yeah, highly recommend it. It's like six quid on Amazon, really amazing. But the Sally Hansen cuticle remover is the one for me. We have used up a, another beauty blender. This one went mouldy. I don't know why, because I have like a holder for them that has air holes in it. I don't, I'm sure that's mould. I don't, it looks, if you can see that, that's mould, right? Grim. So I, I've binned it, but it has kind of got, when, when they start to look a bit like this, is that, yeah. When it starts to look like it's breaking up and you can see like holes in it, that's where you need to get rid of them because it will hold bacteria and they will go mouldy and nobody wants that on their skin. That is just not cute. I have another one, but I'm using the Beauty Blender less and less. I've been using my Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush to apply my foundation. And to be honest, I've just used that new Beauty Blender because I've got one in stock in my bedroom. So I thought, oh, sod it, I'll just put it on. But um, after that, I'm not sure I'm gonna bother buying another one controversial i have used a beauty blender for decades like i don't know what's wrong with me but i just don't really use it so i am using that one now um, because i have it but once that's done maybe not now we have the tattoo liner by kat von d this is my holy grail liquid eyeliner i have a mini of the benefit roller lash roller roller liner it's okay I have on uh, an Avon one I tried. It's not that great. This, look at that nib. It is just phenomenal. This one I have used until it's almost, I mean, there is just no color in it whatsoever. It's dried out so much. But this is the one. This is the one. This is an anniversary edition um, packaging, but it's in Trooper Black. I have a backup. I have one ready to go. I haven't started using it yet because at the moment I'm using the Bobbi Brown liquid uh, eyeliner, the uh, gel eyeliner, but soon enough, this will be back on my eyeballs. I love it. Holy grail. Would recommend this to anybody. The control you get, the thick line you get. If you like thick black eyeliner, like I do, it's the one, the one. Uh, what else have we got? We can go back into, oh no, more makeup. Laura Mercier. This, I mean, it's finally used up. This is the translucent powder in the anniversary size. This thing is massive. I mean, look at it compared to my head. It's massive. And the value on this <coughs> was absolutely incredible. But it never ran out. I mean, not that's a bad thing at all. But the, the amount of space that's used up in my makeup bag was honestly so annoying. And there's still a bit left in there. I just really wish you could get to the last little dregs. I mean, the amount of times I've spent like whacking it and really like giving it some. I go back and forth with this powder. I love it. It's my favorite loose powder. Unless Chanel ever bring back Pesh. Oh, Pesh was the best loose powder in the world. Unless Chanel ever bring that back, this is my holy grail. This is amazing. I do use the collection one from time to time when I'm skin. If I've got the money to spend on Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, I will do. I always set my makeup with loose powder. I find it to be the most flattering, the most natural. I don't like a pressed powder on my skin. I find it may, looks too cakey. This just really complements my Dior foundation and I love it. I do have another one on the go of just a regular size, but that one was on Look Fantastic. And I believe I got that for £33 with the but with the puff as well. The puff on its own is £17. For a 30 gram size, the original size is like £36 of this. This is the 49 grams. It's massive. So I'm very glad that came out. Uh, hair. So I finally used up the purple conditioner from Keratin. I love the keratin range their shampoo their purple shampoo is amazing but for me conditioners i'm just not a huge fan there's nothing to do with the product the keratin product was great i finished this up but purple conditioner i, I don't know if it's a thing like why why is it? i get this purple shampoo um but i just don't think this did very much and because purple shampoo kind of dries your hair out the purple conditioner i found kind of did the same thing like i put it in 
left it in for a couple of minutes, washed it out, and my hair still felt quite dry, although it was wet, obviously. Like, it doesn't feel nourished, whereas a conditioner should make your hair feel nourished. This didn't, and I think it's because it's a purple product. Weird, because all their other conditioners are amazing, the keratin ones, they're fantastic. But this has mango butter, avocado oil, and sage extracts in it, and the smell is incredible. Like, oh, still, the smell is gorgeous. It's really clean, really fresh, quite coconutty, quite lavendery, really, really nice. And uh, yeah, no, no additional parabens, sulfates, and sodium chloride. So love the keratin range. They did send me this. I will put the code again below for you. Honestly, their products are insane. And if you know me, you know I love a lot of their stuff. So yeah, get involved. And again, another product of theirs. This is my third bottle of this. And this is the Keratin Extensive Thickening Treatment. This product has really, really helped my hair. I have, like, my hair's quite thin, but lately it has been looking a lot thicker. And I do use products that add volume and stuff like that. Today I haven't added any. This really does make a difference and it increases hair diameter, strengthens hair strands, combats breakage with natural ingredients. And it says this residue free treatment uses peptide technology, botanicals and scientifically tested ingredients to increase hair diameter while providing moisture, movement, thermal protection and keratin healing. I mean, hello. And you apply it uh, daily to the entire length of your hair and dry or damp hair and proceed to style as usual. I only use this on my towel dried hair and I do spray it from root to tip and I use this three times a week when I wash my hair. I love it. This is my third bottle. I do have a fourth uh, open in the bedroom right now and I do use it every time I wash my hair. I thoroughly enjoy it. And again, I'll put the code here for, um, for their website and please do give them a go. Honestly, they have done great things for my hair. I specifically love this. The detangling spray I've told you before is a game changer for your hair. If you have knotty hair, if you have fine hair, thick hair, try, trust me, you need that in your life. But that, chef's kiss. <gasps> Guys, we've now made it to the Elemis section. <coughs> Final bit of the video. If you've made it this far, well done you. Let's talk some Elemis. This was the warm tonka and vanilla body cream. I used up the shampoo, I don't know, shampoo, I've got shampoo on the brain now. I used up the shower gel ages ago, but <laughs> I remember, you, remember me telling you, it was so freaking cold in the UK. I didn't moisturize my body for like three weeks because it was so cold here in the mornings and I just couldn't face putting cold lotion on my body. And with the Elemis shower creams, milks, you don't need to because they're so moisturizing, thank God. So this I've been using now because it has not been as cold. It's cold again now, but it has warmed up a little bit. So I was able to use body cream again. Again, I love this. I wouldn't buy it on its own. I always get them in kits. They do it with the Today Special Value at Christmas. Usually you get a shower milk and a body cream. So that's why I've been using them. But I do love it and I do use it and I do enjoy them. This was the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. I really like this. I still have another one on the go. It's a 75 ml and it is just a really nice face wash. I use this in the morning, in the shower. Um, when I do my double cleanse at night, I tend to use face oils, cleansing bars, but in the morning I do prefer a gel. I don't know why, it's a bit weird but that's just me. So I love this. Um, I would highly recommend it. I would buy it on its own because it does, it says here, um, massage into damp skin with fingertips, add warm water, create a lather, avoid the eyes. Skin energizing cleanser. Yeah, it doesn't do anything spectacular, but I, I did like it. I really enjoyed it. And um, it, it definitely makes my skin less dry, less itchy in this weather, you know, all for that. So great. Then this is my ultimate favorite. This is the Pro Collagen Tri Acid Peel. I love an Elemis face peel. Love it, love it, love it. I love the enzyme peel. I love this one. This is probably my favorite. And I use this probably twice a week 
And again, I didn't use this much during the really cold winters because I just didn't want to wash my face loads. I was, my bathroom's freezing. Um, we had the bathroom redone. It's all tiled. It looks great, but boy, it's cold in there. So I used this up. It took me probably a bit longer than it normally would to use up a face peel, but I used to get face peels at a salon like every quarter, every three months. And when I had the face peel done at the salon, I would my skin would actually peel off just to it would I did it because I had pigmentation and I wanted to bring that down it worked but it was very aggressive this I get the same results I get the the glass like skin but without any peeling when it says face peel don't think you're going to be peeling you won't peel it does it in such a way that it's just so light you don't even notice it honestly amazing my skin is super sensitive I can use all of the Elemis face peels and they all do what they say on the tin without any aggressive peeling or skin redness or anything so love this holy grail definitely buy it i have a couple in backup still but yes i would buy that a thousand percent and then last up yep everyone's favorite the pro collagen marine cream 50 mil this is my go-to favorite face cream of all time i used this particular one i used it morning and night because i ran out of night cream but then i used at night time i used something else underneath either the marine mask or a face oil or something a bit heavier just to sort of add a bit of bulk to this but this is just the most delicate face cream it goes on like a gel but it's a cream it moisturizes your skin so beautifully. It takes down lines and wrinkles. It's an anti-wrinkle cream by, you know, by trade, if you like. But I've been using this now for four years and it has changed my skin. It says here, uh, it's a clinically proven, powerful anti-aging cream. Um, improve the appearance of wrinkles, improve skin firmness, tone and hydration in 14 days. There you go. If you get a chance to try one, try it on QVC, you get a 60-day money-back guarantee. You don't lose anything apart from the postage, and that's fine. But honestly, when you try this, you will not go back. And on QVC, you get so many good deals. Like this, I think this size likes me like £90. I have never paid that for a face cream. I pay like 50 or 60 quid for a whole kit of stuff from Elemis, and usually this is in it. This is a whopper size. This is the 50 mil. Usually it comes in a 30 this kind of size, using it day and night, lasted me about three and a half months. Uh, it's gorgeous. There is literally not one little scrap left in there. I have rinsed every bit of it. And it smells great too. Not that that matters, but it's got a very, very light fragrance. Again, my skin's really sensitive, doesn't aggravate it. Just my skin responds really well to Elemis. I love it. Guys, we are done here. Thank you so much for coming back and I hope you enjoyed this trash talk. Let me know in the comments below any of these things you've tried. Are you tempted to try anything? Have I recommended anything to you that you tried and loved? Let me know. Or you've tried and not loved? Let me know. I'm happy to hear all your comments. Let's get a conversation going below. We are a community after all and we all love beauty. That's why we are here. Guys, thank you so much for watching this week. I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. No idea what it's going to be yet. Who knows? Guys, I will see you next week. Take care. Hi, guys. Welcome back and welcome back to another episode of Trash Talk. If you're not here... <laughs> if you're not here, of course you're here. <laughs>